Just super quick guys before the video starts, I'm editing right now. Don't forget you can enter the giveaway for over 30 pairs of Steps Grip Socks. The link will be down in the description. There's so many ways to enter, so many prizes up for grabs. Go down there, get yourself some entries. On top of that, go over to Tweety Talks Business. At the end of this video, there's a new one that just went live talking about how to start a YouTube channel and grow it. So head over to Tweety Talks Business, check it out, enter yourself into the giveaway to win some free stuff and enjoy today's video. Yo, 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 what's going on Team Tweety? I hope you're all super well. We're back with another video. Now today's vlog is gonna be just about my future and where we're kind of taking this football thing because man, things just change every single day. I really wanna discuss that with you guys. I've been doing all of my training. I've been going down to the park with Sam. Now is the most important time. Go and find yourself a training partner because well, in Australia, you're allowed to go do a one-on-one -on -one session. Any more than that, it's illegal and you'll get fined. I don't know about other countries, but that's what I've been doing. I've been making the most of that. Also been doing gym work up here. We got this ball, which I've been using quite a bit. We got the band, some weights, some push-ups, a whole lot of things that I've just been doing throughout the day, getting workouts in and really trying to improve myself as a footballer during this tough time. My eating is also going really well. I'm keeping up my diet, my nutrition, eating a ton of food, which is so important for me when I'm trying to put on weight. You can see I'm, look, I'm sitting around 68. I weighed myself just before. A little bit less, so 67.8. The camera is about 200 grams, but that's a really good weight that I'm happy with right now. And it's slowly progressing, which is important. It's not just jumping up. I feel like, man, I was looking at myself in the mirror last night, as you do, and I'm seeing muscles in places where I don't usually see muscles. I'm like, oh, wow, where, where'd that come from? <laughs> so that's cool. I, it's important that I progress during this stage. It's the most important thing because putting this time to waste where you can't, like, man. I've said it before and I'll say it now. This time period is where you want to work on your weaknesses, where perhaps you didn't have the time during the week before in season or you had too much of a workload and you couldn't fit in the things that you wanted to work on. So for me, it's my weight, my strength, my explosiveness. So I'm improving that by doing more sort of gym stuff, at home gym stuff. It's not ideal, but we're making the most of the situation. I've also been working on the flip flap. So I've just been doing this every so often. It's, I'm not getting there yet. I'm slowly improving, but I wanna be able to dribble at a top speed and bang, bang, I can't quite do it yet. I've noticed my left foot is not as good. So I'll just come up here and work. And it's just bang, bang. It's a really difficult move because you've got to be quick with it. And then once you get to top speed, man, it becomes a whole different animal. Then we come downstairs and I'm making the most of my room. So there used to be a painting there. There's now a painting out in the other room where I used to do juggling against the wall. So I have this little area. And you can clearly see it's small, but you can do things, bang, two touch. Super easy, improves a lot, man. I set myself challenges, you can do one touch. And I just love it because it's so technical, man. It's just little two touch, little one touch stuff. I've also set up this other side and I have a few other drills that I can do in here. So another one, if we go into first person is you have a wall there and then I just have my bed frame. And so I can go touch, 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 touch. I can just do left foot. I can, it's a bit hard holding the camera as well, but you get the idea. I can do right foot. I can do across the body touch, across the body, bang, 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 I can speed it up. The other one I have is, I have a little bit of room here. So now I have a little area I can pass the ball there. So I can look to go pass, receive, pass, receive, turn, pass, receive. This wall is also really good I like because it bounces up. You can see it gets that little bounce for the control. So I'm just innovating like my Nordics. I now use this for my Nordics. I grab two pillows and then slide my feet behind. I use some step grip socks, bang, chuck them underneath so they act as a cushion and now I can successfully do my Nordics and they're improving a lot. You guys saw when I first did them, I probably got to like here. Now I can really start to get deeper into that, which is epic. I'm just working and finding ways to improve and get better by using the stuff that we've got. It is a difficult time and we don't have everything that we need, but you just gotta innovate and find ways to make it work. So in terms of the future, man, I don't know what's gonna happen. I spoke with Papa Tweety yesterday and he said, we need to hope for the best and plan for the worst. So I've been in contact with the agent in England and he's told me that the season in, I think it's seventh division and below will start up around August. So I'm planning 
for that to happen. If that happens, that's brilliant. We're hoping for it. I'm gonna be ready. If I get a call in June and they say come over, I'm there, I'm ready. So I will be in a good position for that, a very, very good position. But that's a lot of hoping because Australia has recently come out and said that they're banning all travel outside of Australia and maybe even in between states. We're not sure yet. But if international travel is banned, that makes it really difficult for me to get over to England. Now there may be an exception if you're going over and planning to stay for, well, for from August to, when does the season end? About April. That may be an exception that they allow. Maybe they just don't want people to go on holidays. We're not sure on the legislation yet. We're not sure about the laws and England might not even want people coming in from outside. They might just close their board. I think I saw that if you're not a citizen, you're not allowed to come back in. Now I have an ancestry visa, so it's a, we just don't know right now. And that makes things really difficult, which is why I'm hoping that that works out because I will be ready if I get the call tomorrow, if I get the call that I need to go over in a week, I'm gonna be ready for that. In terms of planning for the worst, we may not be able to leave Australia. So we may look to go into MPL, whether that's in New South Wales or if we can travel elsewhere, we may look to go to a Western Australia or a Northern Tor Territory or a Queensland, another state to play in. Some people have made it from those other states and there's more teams opening up in the A-League and on top of that, the foreigners who are in the A-League may not come back for the upcoming season with two new teams coming into the league. That makes a lot more spots. So that's a plan as well that we may look to go into the MPO. I have a few contacts in, I think, Queensland. I have a couple of people I can speak to. New South Wales is very difficult. It's, you know, MPO in New South Wales is probably the highest. It's basically the second division in Australia. So we need to assess and decide what I want to do, but I'm kind of planning for that. So look, I'm just putting things in place so that if England doesn't work out and I really want to go back to England, that's the main objective. That's the goal. If it works out, that's brilliant. I'm working towards that but if it doesn't we need to have something in place and that's the whole thing about this journey we can't just bank on one opportunity happening and if it doesn't we then sit there and go well what do we do now so look that's kind of the plan I don't even know when the MPL is going to open back up because with the current guidelines in Australia that are in place with social distancing it doesn't make sense to play football and then social distance in football so maybe football isn't going to be back for six months eight months a year we just don't really know what's going to happen but when there's that gray area you need to have a plan in place you need to put something in place for you not just to leave it to the government to decide or the people around you put a plan in place and have a few different routes so that let's say if you're in america and a lower division opens up that may be your plan and then the MLS is closed or the USL, the team that you really wanted to get into. So you can play a couple games here to get yourself ready for that. Just putting plans in place so that you kind of have a direction because in this time, it's so tough to like, man, so many people out there, I assume just don't have a direction, don't know what they want in this time. It's so hard to stay motivated. You need to put goals in place. Goals, 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 goals. Set a three month objective, set a six month objective and work towards that. So that's gonna end it there. I don't know what's gonna happen, we'll see. I just don't know, I don't think I could guess. I don't think anyone could tell me what's gonna happen. So we'll see. But 10 Tweety, I'm gonna end it there. Sign out, make sure you like and subscribe and hit join Jenny, I'll see you in the next video.